Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So we are going to continue our last video and in this video we are going to add some 2D elements and we'll do color grading as per requirement. So before starting this video, I will request uh, any one of you, if you are a FX artist and want to collab with me for uh, uh, some FX, you can connect over Instagram. Please do DM me. What I want, I will tell you, I want some slow motion muzzle flashes for this project because uh, I'm not getting any correct muzzle flashes for my this project. I want to do a, a complete video. That's why I need that effect. So if you are an FX artist and want to collab with me for this project, please, please, please DM me on Instagram. Definitely will create something great together. So without any delay, now let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here, I am having few 2D assets like uh, smoke and dust kind of effect I am having. So we'll do it later. And also what I did, I deleted all the basic color grading because I want to start fresh. So uh, this is my background. And as I can see, I'm having good amount of noise. So need not to worry. I'll go over here and I'll take a reduced noise. Probably I'll connect and I will... I need a basic uh, uh, cleanup. That's it. I don't need because any which way this is going to be defocused, but I don't want to defocus my grain, which is in my uh, background. So as I'm going to see, it's automatically you can see a uh, much more cleaner result. And yeah, so what I want, I want to do a, a color grade, which will mimic our entire scene. So might be some greenish in shadows and some orange in highlights. So that kind of uh, effect I want to give. So probably I'll do it after defocus, but uh, don't know why I'm doing it before defocus. So I'll take a grade node, pretty simple. I'll take a grade node and I can see I'm having lots of shadows, right? So what I'll do, I'll just double click over here and let me put one over here and I will go to gamma and in gamma, I will add little bluish greenish might be that is too green. Let me swing towards little bluish. It might possible I can. Yeah, this is good. If needed, I can come uh, anytime and I can do it later and might be in gain, which is our highlights. Probably I'll do some sort of orange just to give some contrast. Kind of this, not too much. So this is my base, which I want to start. Might be uh, it's too green. Might be I'll swing it to blue a little. Again, it's a it's your choice. So you can keep whatever grade you want. Right. And if I'm going to see my final, uh, it's a base uh, which I can start. Right. You can see easily I'm having uh, greenish, bluish in my shadows. But if I'm going to do this, you can easily see I'm not having my black points matched over here. Right. So what I'll do, I'll come over here and after this, which which I'm having my character, I'll add unpremelt node first because if you are doing any kind of uh, color grading, it's recommended that add a unpremelt and premelt and do your grading in between unpremelt and premelt. Already I made a video. You can go and you can check that video, right? So first thing first, my target is to match my white point and black points, right? So I'll take a grade node. I'll increase this, right? So I'll disable it. I'll go to black point. I'll take picker and I'll go like this. Control shift, click and drag. Targets black point. And in this case, this will be my reference. Right. This will be my reference. So I'll go to lift and I'll hold down control and shift. Click and drag. And if I'm doing it, so you can easily see if I'm going to enable it, my black points are matched, right? So this is something you need to understand. But again, you have to understand that why we are adding unpremelt and premelt. So if I'm going to disable it, if you can see my bl matching black will affect my transparent areas as well, right? But if I'm going to enable these two, you can easily see I'm not having anything. 
anything coming is on character right so if i am going to see my black points are matched if you can see right if needed i can change change it any time now it's time to match my white points now the main thing important part is what will be my white point for this character right so let me do that so might be i can take this blue not sure we have to fix it let's let's see what's going on might be i can take uh, this gun this point so i have to decide again uh, i have to be very uh, choosy so i'll disable again uh, grade i'll go to white point and might be let's start with the this blue kind of stuff so if i'm going to select control shift and this will be my target might be highlight so i'll go over here so just i'm i'm just doing my stuff i think it should work but if i'm going to disable it uh it's coming nice but what happened my blue i think it's coming good so might be i need to tone down my red and might be i need to tweak this thing because it's coming pretty nice i think uh, i think it will work if needed i can come and i can change it any time and now if i am going to see my white points are uh, almost matched right but i am getting a good amount of red over here so need not to worry in coming time i am going to uh, fix it now this is a good start i guess so probably i'll take a saturation node and in saturation node i am going to switch off red uh, green and blue and might be i'll reduce little red so now it's neutralized it's coming pretty nice i guess so again we are we have started grading it definitely in coming time most of the my fx will come definitely i need to tweak it but it's a good start right apart from that what i can do i can take a overall one grade i am going to create some sort of contrast might be this overall contrast definitely i need to change it but yeah for now a little contrast right that's it apart from that if i can see i am having a orange light this side and blue light this side might be i can add a light source over here so might be what i can do i can take a noise just a hint of that thing and i will reduce size might be like this i'll take a shape okay i'll take a merge i want some sort of light coming from that area i'll mask it okay uh, might be I'll, i can blur it and i'll take a volume raise i'll connect this and i'll add point over here right might be also i can blur it little more and i can take a transform node and i can do this so it's i have to show like it's coming out of the frame that's why i'm doing it might be like this and over here i can change my ray length like this and i can change gamma a little kind of and if i want to see what's going on i can add on top of everything but let me try with over here or might be i can add i can add on background itself because i want to add behind the character right again it's a personal preferences right kind of and of course i have to go over here i have to take a grade node you can use any node to do color grading and all i am very used to of grade that's what i'm using it it's not mandatory that you have to use it grade again and again but i am very handy with my grade node right and if i can see final something is coming from this area and might be possible i can go to my noise and i can increase some sort of gain right also i can tweak uh, these things might be gain so light source should be there like it should reflect and also i am going to blur it more because i don't want to see my streaks like this yeah 
also to uh, support my this light what i can do i can take a grade node over here and i can come over here might be i'll take my uh, gamma and i'll add little orange and i'll take a roto node and i will do this just to support my light source of course this will be very soft right like this and let's add that same tintin gain might be i'll add i'll go over here and i will do this so overall if you can see i can disable it just this thing is supporting my light source and this light is falling over here same way i will uh, make one light source from there so that we can we can understand that this light is hitting from this area but i'm not going to do uh, this in this video because it will be too lengthy and repetitive right now let's start adding our environment or atmospheric because it will give you a very a uh, unique texture to our composition right so i have few of them so probably i'll use this so i will just take this and i am going to check this so again you have to understand that your footage is of slow mo and my this asset is like uh, is, is like too fast for that thing right so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a node called chronos again it's not a, a correct way of doing it but let's see how chronos is working and if i'm going to play it's i'm getting some sort of uh, a slow mo kind of thing but to do slow mo you need a higher frame rate but you have to understand that i don't have high speed atmospheric if it will be there then definitely i'm going to uh, replace it okay so after selecting this what i want probably i will go to frame number first and i'll go to dope sheet double click let's go to dope sheet might be i can change frames so that i'll have different kind of uh, animation after this directly i'm going to take a merge node and i'm going to connect this now let's see what's happening so again it's not looking great right it's just looking totally fake right so what i'll do again i'll take a grade node and might be i can start adding color not blue might be greenish blue that will work might be yeah so of course i'm going over here and might be i can lower down i need a very subtle uh atmospheric right kind of this and might be i'll go over here and i will do this right uh also this area is looking good but uh, this area is looking pretty empty right so i'll do a trick i'll take this i'll use mirror right i will connect this over here uh might be i can take um, this thing after my chronos maybe and i will flip it horizontal and i'll take merge node and i'll connect it over here so what will happen i will have same thing but on both the sides right so yeah i'll go over here and i'll check now i'm having a uh, different and uh, something smoky some kind of right so if needed i can take a transform node after mirror and might be i can change some position to give some break up like this right yeah so now if i can see it's looking pretty nice so if i'm going to disable both the things can you see that so i'm having pretty uh, subtle atmospheric of course i'm adding it for background also i need to add it uh, for my foreground as well so by using same method i am going to add all my assets which i needed and i'll come back once this is done okay so as you can see over here i am having few of them like uh, let me show you what i did so after color grading and all let me disable it and let me disable this right so i was having this i was having this so initially what i did i added uh, this thing this asset then again i added few more assets on top and i did this right so if you can see 
आई एम हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्मोकी एंड फॉगीनेस ओवर हियर ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस एज वेल राइट ओवर हियर एंड वन एसेट आई एडेड ऑन टॉप ऑफ माई कैरेक्टर विच इज दिस राइट सो it will gel my character with my background so this much i did and i think that's it for this video as i mentioned if any one of you love to do fx and want to collab with me please please dm me i need few assets very badly because i am eager to complete this shot i need muzzle flashes i need a uh, uh, smoke you know so for this project and i hope this will be a good learning for both of us like anyone wants to collab with me i will also learn you will also learn so i think please do comment and uh, uh, we'll do some wonders so that's it for this video and i think this video will help you to understand what kind of grading work should be done what kind of atmospheric should be done so if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day